Today's back day, and I decided to go outside for the first couple of sets of pull-ups. So I started off with 120 pounds, a quick lower one rep max for my PR so I could get stronger with 120 and eventually be able to do more efficient and better reps with 120 pounds. Then the, eventually I just moved on to body weight here and did slow and control reps. And the more harder it got, the more faster I went. But right there, I just went, I just wanted to go for really a slow and control reps on back days. I don't really like going too fast with these movements on back days because I really want to feel it in my lats when I'm doing it. Like in this, in this set right here, I honestly felt my lats like tingling hard, like literally like it was literally so sore. And that is what we want here. We want to go beyond failure. And we want to go as hard as we physically can on every set and make sure that muscle is getting as sore as it needs to be. So today we did way more sets than I usually thought I would have done. Since today, we only doing like well, not today, but in general, since I only do like two back exercises when I'm at home, like pull-ups and rows, I will, the workout wouldn't really be that long. This workout was about 40 minutes long, and it was overall perfect, just high intensity beyond failure. And at the end, I really felt a lot of pain in my lats. We're walking back in the house here, and we're going to be able to do some more wide grip pull-ups. So I went back in the house, so I was gonna be able to do more variations of pull-ups like this grip right here, that wide, wide, wide grip. Instead of just doing that close grip where that tree branch is, I could get that really wide grip and get them lats right by doing this slow and controlly. And eventually, the more reps I did, the harder the workout got, of course. I love going from wide grip to close grip to wide grip to close because it honestly just makes me feel my lats even better when I'm doing like two different variations of pull-ups. And honestly, I just love doing close grip pull-ups. They're literally fun to do. Honestly, they're my favorite and they're easier to do, but I'll add wide grip pull-ups in the, you know, setting too. I remember back then I used to struggle with wide pull-ups a lot. Like I remember I couldn't even do like three wide pull-ups and now I could do while plus with about 100 pounds with no struggle. That all comes from just consistently doing weighted pull-ups every single back day. Come on, keep on doing these reps. We're done with these. Let's move on to the dumbbell rows. That first set was beautiful. Now we're on the second set. Let's go beyond failure just like we did on the first. All right, now let's get to these pull-ups. Burn back out with some more pull-ups. As you can see right here, Y'all can see my upper back literally forming while I'm doing the pull-ups. You can see me training the muscle while I'm doing it. So if y'all didn't know, pull-ups literally train your entire back. That's what I love about pull-ups. It's a simple exercise and it trains your entire back just like you need it to.
That's it. Let's give it our all. Come on. Let's get ready to flex his back pump now. Look how our back looking. Looking massive. Our back is definitely getting way bigger for sure. It needs to be more bigger though. Way more bigger. So I'll have to eat more bigger and I'll have to eat way more for it to be bigger. This is how it's going to be. I'll see y'all in the next lift. Y'all have a good night, morning, or afternoon.